Yeah, you're saying that advertisers are failing there, but okay, let's say the globe actually set up their printing operation so that they could allow you to split a run on one day, right? The newspaper, the problem is they're just not the same kind of traffic, right? Even if I split and did 50% of the growth globes with one ad, with one offer, and, and the other 50% on that day have so same day sitting right beside the same news story, right? So I've got the same draw to that location in the newspaper, mm -hmm. right? Everything else is the same. I still don't have any metrics or way to track back. I mean, coupon codes and things like that. But you know, in general, they're just, they're just not good. The kind of facilities that you have on mind. How do you bridge that gap? Well, I, I mean, I. Uh I don't think it's a necessarily a technological solution. This would be another thing that I talk about. As I think it's a strategic solution. So I think you're right. I mean, you can't, but let's let's go back to 1919. And let's say that you're advertising for your client as Pepsi. And you're trying to see that you have two different offers. Uh, and, it, and in that case, it was a, you know, I'm basically a Claude Hopkins case study. And in that case, it was, it was a coupon. Another one that he had was a different phone numbers. So you, you put, and that, and that time it was four numbers. So you put, uh, you know, 4222 and 4221, and the split testament, yes, you're not gonna, you know, it's not as accurate as the digital environment. That's kind of my point. The irony that we have right now is that not enough people are really getting the, 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 the digital environment is perfectly measurable, yet people aren't, it's hard, it seems to be harder to get the information out of it. And this could be because there is so much uh, and also, I think because the practice of uh, what analytics should I be looking at is uh, very young. Um, so, for example, um, I think this is even if you look at how the, the media companies are structured in a way. I think that um, back in November, uh, I met with a, a few of the a research, the heads of research at a few of the major publishers. So this would include Time, Hearst, um, Parade, uh, and Meredith. Um, and one of the interesting things was these are the directors of research. Uh, and so the first thing you notice is you walk into the big rooms in New York, uh, the floor, and there's many empty cubicles. Um, the, these departments are the, kind of the first <laughs> to get kind of cut. Uh, the second thing that surprised me is that the, res the research department don't even really consider web analytics as part of their house. Uh, it, it is considered web analytics it appears from my experience talking with these people seems to be what we use to find out which stories are most emailed and layouts and kind of more editorial types of things rather than an area where you can get research into your sales team or the advertiser themselves so that they're uh, the, 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 in these old media the uh, what, what they can what they consider online research is online surveys uh, not looking at uh, some of the things I'll, I'll jump into that you can reveal, which is, you know, what's the average time uh, in, in, in the site for people who download a coupon code for Crest? Uh, you know, if you're Meredith or something and you're trying to, you've got a very consumer-centric brand type of advertiser. Um, and this goes into one of my, uh, I'll kind of go through it, but uh, if, if, you, if there's any takeaway from what I, what, what I say, I think that the, the, the real interesting thing here is that I think that the common denominator of a performance across all media it becomes time um, and, and, and length of engagement in something. So I think that that's an area where it's, it's very simple to track. It's also something that becomes, uh, you know, uh, it's something that you can start to go across different media channels to say, okay, uh, a 30 second commercial costs X, or, you know, how many people can I get into my site for five minutes? Um, from your media source, and I think that what you start to see is that you can maybe get some uh, similar numbers. Um, so just kind of having this, uh, this is kind of just to illustrate just this kind of idea that right now, I mean, um, that most people, that most people, the website is, seems to be at the core of whatever else is going on. And I think that uh, advertisers need to kind of have a better sense of what kinds of goals uh, that people have um, or that their businesses have. Um, I think that what, what I've found if I go to uh, clients and the first thing I'll say is, um, you have a website, great, what, what, what do you want people to do? Um, and how are you measuring the performance of your success and getting them to do what you wish? 
Um, and once you say, and that tends to be something that doesn't seem to be something that they have a conversation with their data. Um, and because of that, that makes it, uh, if you do, you can start to track and, and to do some things here that make you able to, uh, hot topic, um, I need to track all my social media. Um, it's something that I get asked a lot. Um, and my feedback is that there are a lot of tools coming out to track, you know, following, you know, who your mavens are and so forth. But it's also very easy to simply look at your web analytics and see uh, the referring links, so whose Twitter page is generating people to me. Um, and that is a very easy page view uh, referring source uh, type of metric. Um, and then you can see, you know, uh, Fish, Fish sent me, uh, let's say, 20 people today. Now I know it's more than likely than not that if I try to reach out to him, he can influence my social media sphere more than others because I've seen that he brings more to me than others. Now. Doesn't that get skewed by uh, Twitter clients? Uh, some, a little bit, but not fully. Uh, generally, if you take the referring path, you can see which, uh, if they clicked on the page, you can see that as, as part of the referring path. So even, so even if, even if I lost a little bit of it, if I still know that he's the leader there, okay. it's again one of these things of more likely that. Um, and it's about getting sufficient data to make a decision. And I think if people get more comfortable with that, instead of trying to get perfect data all the time, because guess what, you're not gonna get, you're, you're never gonna get perfect data. Uh, and I think that that's another kind of thing. Um, and you don't need it to make a decision. The goal is to get sufficient information to drive a decision. Um, and so also in this case, let's say, so I just judged his value on traffic, but let's say we add another metric, which was something like, uh, uh, let's say it was uh, downloads of a case study and somebody else who had uh, seven visitors uh, to my site that I saw, but they, they generated five downloads of uh, one of my goals. Now you're, now you're adding a whole other dimension of value. And I think that what, that, what I'm getting at there is performance. Um, it's not about uh, quantity as much as it's about quality and understanding how to measure that quality. Okay. 